it's time for a DigiKey unboxing. Let's take a look at the XR3160E Serial Bridge Featherwing from Worth Electronic. An RS-232 and RS-485 to UART bridge, ideal for linking D sub 9 interface devices to the Feather ecosystem. So, let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the XR3160E development board with a D sub 9 connector and the Feather connectors. The XR3160E features a 3v3 logic level UART interface on the Feather pin header, support to 5 volt logic level, RS-232 with and without flow control, full and half duplex RS-485, and a double throw slider to switch between RS-232 and RS-485. In this demo, we'll connect the Serial Bridge Featherwing to a Calypso Wi-Fi Featherwing and a M0 Feather to provide wireless data from a simulated RS-232 sensor node. First, use a D sub 9 to USB cable to connect the Serial Bridge Featherwing to your PC. Then connect the M0 Feather to your PC with a micro USB cable. Install the Mosquito 2.0 open source message broker onto your operating system. Set up Visual Studio with Platform I.O., clone the GitHub repository, and save it to a new project folder. Then update the serial featherwing main.cpp code with your Wi-Fi SSID, Wi-Fi password, and server address. Start the new project in Platform I.O. and save it to the folder. Update the mosquito.conf file to listen to the correct port and allow anonymous clients to connect. Open a terminal and change the directory to the mosquito file, start the networking service, then start the mosquito broker. Open a terminal emulator to connect to the serial board with local echo enabled and a 9600 baud rate. Open a second terminal and change the directory to the Mosquito file. Build, upload, and monitor the project in Platform I.O. Then in the second terminal, enter the command to transmit your message to the serial board over Wi-Fi. Transmitted data will be displayed in the terminal emulator, and data received from the serial board can now be confirmed in the Visual Studio terminal. Thanks for watching.